Governor Charlie Baker today commissioned new officers into the Massachusetts Army National Guard. 22 News State House reporter Tiffany Chan is live in Boston after attending this traditional ceremony this afternoon. The state's commander in chief of the National Guard, Governor Baker, said he has the utmost respect for military members who take the oath to protect and serve this country. Today's event is all about showing gratitude and recognition. Governor Charlie Baker revived a significant military tradition today. He commissioned new officers to the Massachusetts Army National Guard, a ceremony that hasn't taken place in decades. I think the last time this was done was after World War II, 1948. Uh, so he's bringing back the tradition of the governor, who is the commander in chief of the uh, National Guard of Massachusetts, commissioning the newly newly minted officers. Major General Gary Keefe of the Massachusetts National Guard presented Governor Baker with the commander in chief flag. The traditional flag represents the governor's role as the head of the state militia and is to be displayed at official military events. Massachusetts has a rich military history. The Massachusetts Army National Guard has the four oldest U.S. Army organizations in the nation, dating back to year 1636. I'm all about tradition. My father was in the Army. My sister is a West Point graduate. She was in the Army. And, um, you know, just kind of want to make my family proud. The newly commissioned military officers will also receive a federal commission from the President of the United States, the Commander in Chief of the Armed Forces. More than 20,000 Massachusetts National Guard soldiers and airmen have deployed since September 11, 2001. Live at the State House in Boston, Tiffany Chan for 22 News.